Shang is brutally attacked, his face contorted in shock and pain as he screams out in horror. Blood spurts from Kai Jing's body as the force of the strike overwhelms him, leaving him helpless and panicked, unable to defend himself against the onslaught. Zhang, holding a smoking gun, stands over a lifeless body while the survivor, drenched in blood, struggles to catch his breath. Desperation fills his face as he looks at the carnage around him. Zhang holds his rifle firmly, his expression serious as he confronts the situation before him. Shang stumbles toward him, overwhelmed with relief, calling out to his older brother, grateful to have finally found him alive amidst the chaos. Zhang Sheng's eyes widen as he notices something unusual, his attention drawn to the blood-stained arm of the man before him. The infected wound becomes more visible, causing a moment of tension as the situation grows more dire. Zhang coldly informs Shang that he has been bitten, raising his weapon to confront him. In a panic, the man begs for mercy, pleading with Zhang not to shoot as he tries to reason with him. But Zhang remains firm, warning him not to come any closer. Shang is filled with despair and admits that he knows he's beyond saving and will soon turn into one of the crazed infected. However, with tears of anger and desperation, he reveals that Yang Jing has taken his family hostage, using them as leverage to manipulate him in a plot to steal Zhang's resources. With determination, the man pleads his innocence, insisting he has never committed any heinous acts and that his family is blameless. He begs Zhang to protect them from the cruel fate that awaits, leveraging the loyalty they've built and the resources he's accumulated as his final desperate attempt for mercy. Zhang reflects silently, acknowledging that while Shang's initial motives may have been selfish, there's no denying that his actions had helped Zhang in the past. With a determined expression, he contemplates his next move, fully aware of the weight of the situation before him. His group of survivors, led by a determined Zhang, gathers with weapons in hand, ready to take on the next challenge. Zhang smirks, realizing that the added incentive of rewards for completing tasks has only strengthened his resolve to move forward. Zhang smiles confidently as he reviews the newly assigned tasks from the system, his determination growing with the promise of rewards. His mission is clear, to rescue his wife and eliminate any infected lurking outside the base, with every success adding to his reward points. Shang, battered and covered in blood, reassures Zhang that he will handle matters concerning his family, standing strong despite his injuries. In an emotional display, he falls to the ground, declaring his undying loyalty, swearing to repay his debt even if it means serving in another life. The man kneels before Zhang, urging him to take action, his desperation evident. He hesitates, but Shang pleads for him to end it, not wanting to become a threat to his family in the future. Zhang, holding a gun and deep in thought, remains silent as he weighs his decision. Shannon, nearby, orders someone to fetch a bicycle for him, signaling a change in the situation as the older man looks on from behind. Zhang, with firm resolve, instructs Shang to leave and go somewhere far from the crowds, as time is running out. Shang, realizing the gravity of the situation, expresses his gratitude with a solemn smile, thanking the younger man for his final act of kindness. He speeds away on a bicycle, racing against time as the desolate streets blur behind him. With fierce determination, he calls out for his wife and child, pushing himself to the limit in his final act of desperation. Shang, now overwhelmed with emotion and tears, presses forward despite the pain and fear as his eyes glow with determination. Meanwhile, Zhang stands in front of a group of defeated enemies, his rifle slung over his back, commanding respect and authority from those around him. A petrol bomb smashes down with tremendous force, taking out another enemy in a brutal display. At the same time, a lighter ignites, signaling the start of something dangerous and possibly destructive. A massive fire erupts as the group of survivors stands in silence, watching the destruction unfold before them. The leader coolly evaluates their progress, reminding them that with their current skills and teamwork, future challenges should be manageable. Shannon, with sharp eyes and determination, expresses her concern about facing larger hordes, noting that their current abilities might not be enough. The group listens in silence, with the weight of her words causing them to reflect on the looming dangers ahead. Zhang, resolute, commands the group to follow him as he strides ahead with purpose. The group approaches a large, imposing door, preparing for whatever awaits them on the other side, with the tension in the air thickening as they get closer. 
Zhang acknowledges a man named Shenbo and informs him about the warehouse. Handing over the key, he entrusts the safety of their weapons to Shenbo, knowing he'll protect the armory while the leader heads into the city for a mission. Shenbo expresses concern about the chaos in the city, questioning whether it's wise for Zhang to venture out alone. However, Zhang Kai enthusiastically volunteers to accompany him, rallying the others to join the mission. Zhang insists that his companions stay behind, as they are not yet ready to face the dangers ahead, entrusting Shenbo with the responsibility of their safety. As he drives off, determined and focused, his weapons rest beside him, ready for the challenges awaiting him in the city. The system display shows empty options, frustrating the young leader as he notices that the marketplace hasn't been updated with anything useful. Annoyed, he contemplates spending points to refresh the system, hoping for better supplies for the mission ahead. With no other choice, Zhang presses the refresh button, knowing the difficulty of the upcoming mission. After spending his points, the system reveals several supply crates that might give him the edge he needs to succeed. He notices that the cost of manual refresh has increased, making him realize he'll need to be more cautious with his points. Satisfied with the rare item he obtained from the refresh, he contemplates the value of his decision as he prepares for the challenges ahead. The system confirms the successful exchange of points for the black tech supply crate, reducing his score significantly. Zhang speeds off in his car. The streets are quiet, but the tension lingers in the air as he drives toward his destination. The black tech crate reveals a powerful energy-enhancing serum, boosting the leader's physical strength. With a smirk, he consumes the serum, feeling its effects immediately as a bright surge of power courses through his body. Zhang is surprised by the strength of the plus five energy serum, realizing its significant impact. Without hesitation, he injects the serum into his arm, immediately feeling its powerful effects surging through his body. He feels an intense surge of power, clenching his fists as his body is pushed to its limits. The system displays his new stats, showing his attributes boosted to an extraordinary level, far beyond that of an ordinary person. The scene shifts to a tall residential building, identified as the home of Shang. A mother comforts her scared child, reassuring him that his father will handle everything and keep them safe. Meanwhile, two menacing figures burst into the room, their serious expressions signaling trouble as they confront the family. The mother, alarmed, demands to know what the intruders plan to do. One of the men cruelly grabs her, mocking her fear and implying that they're there to cause serious harm. The mother struggles against the intruders, pleading for them to stop as they begin to assault her, terror filling her face. Despite her resistance, the men continue their attack, leaving her defenseless. This is the end of the video. If you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.